guys, my name is Svenja and today you are joining me for another episode of Deponia. Uh, the last thing we did, I do actually have to think about it as well because it's been a week since I played. It's sometimes hard for me to find time to actually game a little bit. Um, but we were in the mayor's office and well, we got the glass, we also got the booze. What's our recipe looking like? We still... Ooh, can we fill up the glass with the battery acid, I suppose? Just wanna quickly figure that, check that. Um, and then we'll head into the town hall. Because we tried to talk to our friend the mayor, who clearly is a friend of ours. Or a fan of ours, to be precise, and um, well, he basically told us that he's just given the job to, well, not the job, but the right of taking care of this poor, poor girl, goal, um, to Wenzel. So we'll see. Can we use this. Okay, <laughs> beautiful. I've siphoned the acid without injuring myself. I'll drink to that. Oh my God. Rufus. So yeah, that's kind of the last thing um, he said, and he was like, "Oh, I'm just going to tell him now," and basically went into the main hall. And we're still trying to make this super strong coffee, also known as espresso. Um, so that what? I won't be able to wake the sleepy head with this. It's worth a try. Just tranquilize him some more. <laughs> He's already knocked out. Didn't work. Um, and yeah, just, just, uh, of course we don't want that. So yeah, we're trying to make the espresso. We've got the battery acid now, because we finally have a thing we can put it in. We also went into Tony's medicine cabinet and have her tranquilizer, but I have no idea how this is going to help us. Oh, so the other water has subsided. I don't want anything to do with Wenzel stinking well. It's like maybe we can poison it, which is which would be fucking bad for everyone because this is amazing news that there's fresh water, but it'd be the Rufus kind of way of thinking. I don't want anything to do with Wenzel stinking well. Yeah. I I would like some water though. We really need some water. I don't water. want anything to do with Wenzel stinking well. Yes, you don't want anything to do with Rufus. This I don't want anything. Yes, I am sorry. I don't want. Any yep, sorry. I'm just I don't want. Yep, I am sorry. I don't want. Mhm. Mm I don't want. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't look good, party people. So I reckon we should actually go and can see what's happening. Maybe that gives us another hint as to what we should do as well. Is one of my favorite sentences in all of my gaming series apparently is I am so lost right now <laughs> which is kind of what's happening now <clears throat> also I just had a tiny snack of ice cream and I feel like <clears throat> that is a little making a little not stuck but you like maybe you know that feeling so I suggest that. not to move her in this condition. What kind of condition is she in? I still don't understand. I mean, is she dead? No, no. Her body is alive and well. It's her consciousness. It's inactive. So, she's asleep? Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. I think it's related to this implant. It's broken. A consciousness implant? Isn't there a switch or something? A fuse? Maybe the contacts are corroded. That's what always happens with my intercom. I already tried everything, but this is Elysian technology. I have no idea how it's being used. I don't even have the appropriate screwdriver. So, uh, when can I finally take her home? She needs to wake up and first. Help. Okay, okay, I see. This situation needs to be resolved through a government decision. Let's do it like this. If you manage to wake her up, you can have her. And what happens if I wake her up? Rufus! You're not even supposed to be here. But I have a plan. Oh, 
I've heard about your plans. You never think things through. Everything you do ends in chaos, and most likely with an explosion. <laughs> we'll see about that. I warn you, stay away from the girl. Okay. Can we do anything else? Not really. Let me just do a quick check in the menu, because the music is blasting in my ear today. So I'd quite like to see if I can just turn that down a tiny bit. And just that, and then... It kind of sounded like it's just a bit, you know, too much. So I am... Yes. Also, by the way, this is the game you menu. Have fun. Let's see if this is a little better now. Currently still very loud, but we'll find out. I don't know what to do now. Can we give the booze to Tony? I feel like that'd be something she might appreciate and go like, oh, thanks. Lovely. Can we go back in here? Hmm. I feel like we've done everything. Communicator, water emblem, bell, bell. Hmm. I love the, the mechanical heads of the doors there, by the way. wonder if they're like just art pieces or what's the story behind them. Okay. Because now we are only missing one thing, right? I pressed the wrong button. Um, we are only missing the pure water. Can I... Why can't I select that? Hmm. Why don't we pay a friend a visit? Or should we pay Tony a visit? I just don't know what to do with Tony. I mean, we have a bird, which I'd love to give to her, because apparently we killed her last one. Um, <clears throat> and she's got a place for a bird. I can't wake this one up and she just thinks it's dead again. She doesn't help us. What else do we have? Can we just Tony's shove last the bird in there? Used to parrot everything she said. Nope. Um. The hunter sees his prey. He sneaks closer. Supple, every move pure poetry. Slowly, he takes the bottle of tranquilizer from his pocket, opens it carefully, and fires it at Tony's head. <laughs> hmm. I like the really? direction of the plan, but ultimately, it's missing important details. Oh. Does Tony like drink? Wrong button. Hmm. <clears throat> Does Tony like to drink? Kids don't don't do this, by the way. Um. Ah, there'll be time for chemical experiments later. What I need now are predictable results. Tony's tranquilizer. Doctor Gizmo says it deals with the symptoms mm. only, not with the cause. I wonder what he meant by that. Who are we supposed to give the alcohol that to? That smell reminds me of something. Dad's aftershave lotion. That's sad, Rufus. I'm so sorry about your childhood. Um. Could I? Interesting. What do you got there? Isn't it enough for you to scatter your crap all over my house? Do you really have to lug it into my store, too? Actually, I wanted to give you a little treat. You could do that by dropping dead. <laughs> we might. Honestly, could see that happening. The parrot you didn't want. Your own tranquilizer? Can I offer you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not going to fall for that. Not again. <laughs> so that's not a first either, and I am worried about the circumstances. So confused. You don't want no the bird. No more dead animals. All right, I'll go and wake him up. You do that somewhere else. I want the birds to give. I said you. hands off. Yeah, but Can you we always put say a stuff. Fury again? Take your feet off the table. Don't let wild predators loosen the apartment. Send medicine to grandma. But I can't do everything at once. A and look. 
You don't see my feet anywhere near a tabletop, do you? Ah! Stay calm, Tony. Stay calm. Take a deep breath. Okay, no, we can't. Bummer. Hmm. Beforehand, I thought I was lost, but I always kind of found another thing to do. Now, I am seriously lost. Because I kind of feel like we've done everything. And then also, it's it's been like a week since I last played, which does not help me at all. I'm kind of thinking... That either Hanek might like a drink? Or if we put that in Hanek's coffee? I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. Here, do you want well, a drink? Well, that's funny. I found such a thing in the junk just now. <laughs> funny, right. It's not that I've been searching for that for ages or anything. Why, that would be a real downer, wouldn't it? Those things are all over the place. Bro, Rufus, you should have just had a better look, clearly. Well, that's funny. I found such a th <laughs> Really? It's not that I've been Why, that would be a real downer, wouldn't it? Those things are all over. Alcohol? Well, that, I found no, yeah, that's funny. Mm -hmm. that would be yeah. those things are Sorry. <sighs> I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Let's go to Lonzo. Maybe we can offer Lonzo a drink. Lonzo. Would you like a drink, mate? I have clean water. What? Really? Does yes. that count as water? Here it is. You Seriously? Water. It's too clean. What else could it be? I don't know. Seriously? Look, let's just go ahead and try this. The last time you said that, I lost my big toe. Why are you always complaining? You still have one left, haven't you? So, so actually? Well, look at the things. Tank, coffee machine, clothes tray, espresso cup. If I open this... So, can we... Clear water. This in it here? really exists. But, before it can go into the tank, it has to be mixed with other ingredients. Oh, okay. Clear water. But... Yeah, sorry. Seriously? That's why I couldn't choose it? Okay, fair enough. Um... So we'll take the booze, and that has to go in there, I suppose? I should hurry up. That stuff is almost eaten through the glass. Oh, God. Hmm. The water's still lacking something reviving. That seriously does count. Oh, my God. So is it in the bottle now, or is it in here? It's in here, hey? Energy-rich clear water. Okay. Syringe with taurine. Still don't get... We're just going to use it. Huh. Oh, he doesn't wake up despite the blood mm, okay, no. blood type, maybe. I'm still like thinking if the espresso we might need to test on the bird, which just isn't right either. Cool. But I'm not I complain. already have the special water at least. Okay, cool. So we've got the special water, so that probably goes in here, I suppose. Into um, the tank you go. Looks like it. Cool. And he even shuts it himself. And then, I mean, the powder probably, or the only real solution there is, could. So go in the I have the powder here. already. So well, that's it. Well. I found all the ingredients. Wonderful! I can't even tell you how excited I am to see what happens next. Uh oh. But I thought we were making espresso. Yes, you are right. This is an august moment, my friend. We shouldn't spoil it by worrying about the pressure within the nuclear core structure. Pressure within um. the nuclear core structure? Hear me, gods of our forefathers. Using just the most refined ingredients and the highest possible compression, we beseech thee, open the gates to the espresso verse. Holy smoke. This more pressure! Quick. More pressure! Reminder okay. that they put gunpowder uh, in okay. there. Okay. And it's been put under pressure. You know. Uh-oh. 
Whoa. Being dead feels completely different. Ugh. As you know, I have gazed deep into death's eyes more than once in my life. Oh, now that you mention it, that reminds me. Is Tony still wearing those contact lenses? Shh! Something's happening. Hi. Bloop. <laughs> Ouch. I was gonna say, Ooh. where the fuck is Rufus? I think this brew is gonna do the job. Can we test it on the parrot? I mean, this is a game where I don't think this is gonna kill me, right? Like, it's not gonna go well. He fucked it up now. Otherwise, I have to go back to my save. Wakey, yeah, wakey! Seriously? Seriously? See how that works? <laughs> Dozer. Do we still have some? We do. And we have Parrot. Tony's last Perfect. therapist used to parrot everything she said. Okay, why don't we make a lady very happy? And gift her a parrot. Because what else would one do? At least we know it works now. So that's that's kind of what I was thinking the parrot might be for to check out if it actually works. But then again, I'm also curious as to if it would have just let me give it to goal without using it on the parrot first. But I will not find out. Wow, that was a big yawn. Sorry about that. Can I just put him on the the Look! I got you a hey. bird. Tony, I have a present for you. Hello, hello. Didn't I say you're not to bring animals into my store? <laughs> yeah, but I thought that only concerned rats and insects. And? Yeah, and water buffaloes. But this parrot is completely different. He's smart, clean, doesn't break stuff, and he doesn't even have lice. Wow, so he's the exact opposite of you. Oh, Burn. That's uh, very funny, Tony. You I just thought him. you could use someone who listens to you, so you can chew someone else's ear off for a change. Well, at least I won't be talking to a brick wall. Very funny, Tony! <laughs> I like him. Yeah, there's no surprise there. He sounds like your mother. And there's a certain resemblance, too. Get out! Get out! Ugh. Ah! I should have listened to my mother. Be careful with this guy, Tony. He's an egotistical maniac. Egotistical maniac? <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait till you see him in action. Just the other week, he filled the cemetery's lawnmower with Cool Whip. Maniac! Maniac! <laughs> Poor bird. It won't be long before he starts pining for toxic mind fumes again. I honestly think he made her a little happy, though, Ooh, which is she nice. She looks mad. Why she look mad? I thought she'd be happy now. Wrong button. What's wrong with me today? For Christ's sake. So, can we make a tranquilizer? Water balloon. My first invention was a combination of a water bomb and a stink bomb. <laughs> That's kind of obvious given the water quality around here, but still, you have to have the idea. So, not really. How about this? It doesn't have this. to be siphon. Well, I'll have to stick the funnel into something else first. That's kind of why I thought... You'd... Whatever. I guess not then. I also just don't think this is going to be the end of it yet. It's just too simple. Not that this was simple at all, but... It just still has to be a twist. Also, we just have way too much stuff in our inventory. Way too much good stuff as well. Can't just let that go to waste. She's happy with a parrot, but I just don't quite know what that does yet. If I should have walked in again and annoyed her? I don't know. Look, party people. I am here to save her. 
with an espresso. What's that stinging smell? That's medicine. Says who? Says I. And who's the doctor oh, here? <laughs> you tell me. Let's say it together. Me. me. It's a draw. Best out of three. You. Me. You. Ah, I win. Oh, crap. So you can't... What? Um... The no, textbook has failed. Now, it's time for me to improvise. Dr. Gizmo, what now? Well, thanks for your time. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> Not literally. No, I'm... Once again, seriously confused. Gizmo never understood my philosophy regarding the redistribution of wealth. Although it's fairly easy. From everyone else to me. I kind of thought we could just give him some tranquilizer and... Focus, Rufus. She can still help you with your experiments once she's awake. Rufus? No. Bad Rufus. Can we just try it again? And we're What's lucky that this supposed time? to be? That's medicine. And who's the doctor here? You. <laughs> How does he actually say that? It's hey, him. goal, goal. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Fast asleep. Very good diagnosis, doctor. Oh, well, you know, it's just that I'm an expert in uh, <laughs> sleep. Hmm. How peacefully she sleeps. This calls for extra strong coffee. Which I have in my hand, but I can't give to her. What's that Omega? supposed to be? That's medicine. That I'm and lucky? who's the doctor here? You. For fuck's sake, that doesn't help. So I definitely still have to do something. I'm kind of thinking that I might... Like, I have to do something to get him away from her so I can give the coffee to her. So I have to declare an emergency, I guess. There would be the opportunity of making a fire. Or of a crime. Or of a medical emergency. But I'm just not certain. Still kind of like, I was thinking like maybe the fire extinguisher would... Boy, how anything? often did people around me carry that thing? Um... Boy, how often... Oh, I have. Oh, I have. Can we? It's too heavy. Doesn't matter mm. though, because I'm always cautious. Why am I so doubtful of that, Rufus? Rufus, come on, make a fire. We need. We need a distraction. I can't just, just go it. and incinerate the last tree. I mean, where would I test my herbicides? Not on this tree. On your hair, maybe. On Wenzel. I think you should do it on Wenzel. Sounds like a good idea to me. I am seriously confused. Also, I'm gonna pull this again so I can shortcut. Because it's annoying that I can't currently. Hmm. I am confused. Very much confused. Can I do anything with the ball? Can I give him the tranquilizer? I mean, someone has. I'm, I kind of like. I'm expecting that I have to go back to Tony. <laughs> the bull is enraged enough. Time for a rodeo. Not again. Um. So we have the coffee. We have a funnel fire thing. A dart. A drill. A number still. A lockpick. Tranquilizer. Guys, I think I need your help. What's your input? Tell me. What do you think I should be doing right now? Because this isn't really helping either currently. That's where I just was. Um, we still couldn't use the emergency phone, I am assuming. Hello? I want to report a crime. Okay, no Hello? Luck. 
can I, if I like, use Great. the Great, Inspector well Gizmo seems to be out. But as soon as you accidentally drop the town elder's cane in the cesspool, he's right behind you. Uh, I'll give it another try later. Because he said he had, like, emergency fire sensors and all that stuff. So I'm like, there has to be something. Can I, it's like, if the window's... Can I just hear the thing? I think I could. I'm like... This would be perfect. I can't just start throwing things at Tony without some I mean, way of could. aiming. I'd miss her. That would make her even more mad. Wait a second. <laughs> really? Oh I'm God. as deadly as a poison okay. dart frog, but much cooler. As a, dart. a poison dart. Um. And can we like blow it through a funnel? Maybe. Hmm. The funnel would make an excellent Ooh. blow pipe. <laughs> I just it had an epitome. Amazing. What's he say about it now? Let the hunt begin. Okay. So. What the? A dart? A little longer. <laughs> and... Uh, oh, what am I getting mad at anyway? <laughs> so that's right. how she gets... Sure. Okay. Can we have everything now? And then Rufus greased the bees with fat for deep frying just so he could... Wait a second. Here he is again. Let's talk later, okay? I don't want him to hang around here without supervision. Ah! Oh, Tony! Ah! Hi, Rufus. Aww. Thanks again for the bird. Rufus is no good, Nick. Ah! Such a smart animal. <laughs> okay. Hands Hooks. off my stuff. That doesn't work yet. Okay. Maybe we can talk to her now? Okay, apparently <laughs> I not. I like Tony much better this way. Oh, that's mean. But... That doesn't fit into Tony's collection. It's much too useful. Uh, it's like, can we light a fire here? That doesn't fit into Tony. It's much too useful. Because why can I interact with this stuff? That doesn't fit into Tony. It's much too useful. What does it want me to do with it? So I'm like one step further now. I still have literally no idea. I can't select the one I want. There fit we go. Into Tony's collection. It's much too useful. Much too useful. Yeah, yeah. Much too useful. Hmm. Still have the funnel. Can we just take the bird? What are you doing? I better take him back. You're a bad influence on him. You do that. I already have a sore throat. Repeating myself all over again makes me quite depressed. Those are all lies, you hear? Rufus, don't have expert. <laughs> Cheap <laughs> lies. Or do I give it back to Hanek now? Hey, Tony, I'll just grab a couple of these vouchers, okay? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Ooh. And yes. while we're at it, can you do the dishes this week? <laughs> I like Tony much better this way. <laughs> I was beginning to fear that her body had adapted to tranquilizers. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I used your family pictures to insulate a weather oh, balloon. Oh, come on. Mm, just, um, just, just a moment. What? Uh. Did you mention weather balloons? No, no, no. I said uh, vouchers. Will, will you look at those, those nifty vouchers? <laughs> Keep your hands off. I've counted them. <clears throat> Hands off and my stuff. Back. So does that mean I can give Hanek the bird back as well? This was a question. Wait. All the things you need if you want to stay moored Okay, forever. so I can only combine it or I can look at it. But I can't take it. Now we have the vouchers. Still very confused about that. It's all a little bit confusing. 
And can I give Hanek the bird back now? Oh, what's the deal with it? I didn't think we could take it back. I mean, look, Hanek, your bird's fine again. You want it? He has blatantly neglected his duty to care for him. The bird is much better off with me. Oh, so it's serious. Yeah, sure. Of course. So confused. Because, like, normally all the other steps are kind of where it's like, okay, this makes sense that this is now leading us towards the next thing. But I'm just blatantly confused. Like, how does this help us now? I know that the post office isn't open. Maybe... Lottie? Yeah. She advanced me in the line, so she'll get a farewell present. Well, I'm not even paying attention to that suggestion. To the post office. I said! Get away from there! But I have stuff to send! The post office will be closed until the clock on the sign is back! Do we need a clock? Do we have anything clock-like? I guess that's kind of like a clock, right? This doesn't have to be uh, <laughs> waited on. Bada boom! <laughs> that's kind of like where those numbers or are. Or I could try and find the matching keyhole. Okay. Oh, come on. It would wreak havoc. So it would be completely wasted potential to just set him free. I don't want to set him free. I thought he could be the new post office guy. And not confuse me. Hello, Lottie. You will get. Uh, <coughs> you, Lottie, you got again? any input? Is it my turn already? Yes, it is. I are <coughs> oh my God. already called your number, didn't I? Didn't hear it. I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. What can I do with this drunken trailer? What can I do with a drunken trailer? Um. She advanced. Ah, so yeah, that's not gonna help me. Can I give them to Gizmo? Uh, too far away. I'm still like that sign. Come on, that sign is so obvious. Well, I'm not even paying attention to that suggestion. I'm like, it want seriously now. Seriously? Funny I've smell. tried that so ah, many times. Fire! The town hall's on fire! Fire control mode activated. Firefighter Gizmo at your service. Where is the fire? Over there! The chamber's on fire! Good lord! Don't I'm worry, your mode. fire will be extinguished in no time. No fares. It's not very nice. Ooh. An expert like me can do without such gadgets. I happen to have quite a good sense of smell. That's exactly why you should take it. Please take it. Thank you. Finally, I was getting worried I'd have to camp in the cupboard forever. Whoa! Oh, should I have used that time differently? No, I'm confused. Where was I? Again. Ah, yes. Medical mode activated. Dr. Gizmo at your service. How's the patient? I'd say her condition hasn't changed. Leave the diagnosis to the doctor, will you? Now, just where is... My stethoscope, it's gone! Thieves! Crime in progress! Police mode activated. Officer Gizmo at your service. No one leaves the crime scene. Oh. Okay. Bag. Wenzel. I mean, the bag probably be the smartest, but we'll try giving it Wenzel first. I just want to see what happens. So let's go. Doorknob. <laughs> Gizmo might think Wenzel has stolen the stethoscope, but how could I plant it on him without him noticing? The thing is almost as big as him. Yeah, okay. Mayor? Huh? Ah, but Rufus! You're not untouchable, Low Tech. Don't you ever forget that. That's enough. I think you're done. Uh, come on, Gizmo. You have more important things to do. Don't tell me how to do my work. 
Or are you just trying you to divert him. my attention from your guilt? What? That's simply... Aha! Here is the missing clue. The last piece that completes the puzzle. The mystery of the thieving mayor has finally been solved. Thieving mayor? How dare you? Put up your hands, Lotek. I have no intention of lifting my hands. You better do what I say. I don't want to. You don't have any choice. I don't? Well, you're fired. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You uh. can't arrest me. You're fired! But I arrested I didn't you vote first! For him to meddle so what? in my affairs! You're fired anyway! Wait a second. Did I vote for him at all? Or did I vote for anyone else? Oh, I probably didn't vote at all. Politics are wicked. Probably did not vote at all. I didn't vote for him to. Wait a second. Yep. Did... Yeah, did you I didn't vote, vote at all. Ow! Oh, Rufus! Looky here, Wenzel, too. Did somebody drop food? I mean, what's the deal with the crawling around on the floor? I'm waiting for Gold to wake up so I can take her with me, of course. Ha! Huh, dream on. Although, it is true that ants can carry ten times their own weight. But why would Goal, an Elysian orbit elf, want to have anything to do with somebody like you? Duh, Rufus! You've always underestimated me. Ugh. Rufus! Rufus! Look at me. I'm a self-made man. Yeah, whoever made you Damn must have stopped right in the middle. Oh, yeah? I am rich. I've got a water vein running through my basement. You, on the other hand, don't even have a basement. You ain't got nothing, Rufus. Hey, that's how you pay people back when they give their best? And what would I want with a basement in Kuvak? I don't belong here, and neither does Gold. And as soon as I wake her up, I will accompany her to Elysium. You'll see. Okay. He wouldn't know what to do with it. He doesn't even know what to do with himself. <laughs> so we've established that. Can we just give everyone try tra 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 he tranquilizer? Wouldn't know what to do. He doesn't even know what to do with himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's. I'd rather not disturb him. Now that would be like adding oil to the flames in boring. I was gonna say, well, that doesn't sound terrible, does it? I can't get. Oh, you're busy. Can I just give her the coffee? Almost there. She... I just have to make sure that I don't spill a drop. Really? Put the same funnel? Seriously? Wow. Here, go. Have fun. <laughs> Well, who was that? Me. It was me. <coughs> Rufus? Are you alright? Well, that didn't quite go as planned, did it? Oh. What happened? You woke the stranger, the Elysian girl. And then you got knocked out. Goal? Where is she? How is she? She's still a bit confused. I think her implant was seriously damaged by the fall. She is conscious now, but she's just talking gibberish. Can I talk to her? Of course. She's lying over there. I took her into medical custody. Just don't stress her out too much. First and foremost, she needs rest now. No problem. Thanks, doctor. Before we do that, though, and before we find out more, before we do this now, before we find out more, I'm going to say bye for today. And you guys just have to tune in in the next episode. I'm very sorry. Um, it's been 40 minutes and yeah, just we'll check it out in the next episode. Uh, it was lovely gaming with you guys. If you're new here, introduce yourself in the comments. Give this a like if you enjoyed it. Feel free to just quiz along and give me some tips in the comments and hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss anything. Uh, it was lots of fun once again. Can't wait to hear, see and game with you once more. And until then, goodbye. <laughs>